Now we will study about diffusion capacitance. Consider a PL junction. This is P type region and this is N type region. And it is depletion here. On P side, majority charge carriers are holes. And on N side, majority charge carriers are electrons. When this PN junction is forward bias, the majority charge carriers holes will be injected into this region and electrons will be injected into this region. So these holes will be injected and will accumulate here on this side of depletion layer, on this side of depletion layer. If these electrons are these electrons are injected into P region, these electrons will accumulate near the depletion layer on this side. The charge which is injected, this injected charge on either sides of depletion layer depends on this forward bias voltage. If we change this voltage, then this injected holes, injected electron, their concentration will change and if their concentration changes, I can say that injected charge changes. So here also there is change in injected charge with respect to change in voltage. In a forward biased diode, this is a capacitive effect and in this case this capacitance is called diffusion capacitance. So now I can define diffusion capacitance as in a forward bias diode, there is change in injected charge on either sides of depletion layer with change in forward bias voltage and this is a capacitive capacity effect as we have already, already shown that there is change in charge with respect to change in voltage then it will be a capacitive effect. This is a capacitive effect and the capacitance is called capacitance is called diffusion capacitance. Mathematically, the diffusion capacitance is given by Cd equal to tau into G. Cd equal to tau into G, where tau is called minority carrier lifetime and G is called dynamic conductance of diode which will be <coughs> studied, studied later dynamic conductance of diode the dynamic conductance of diode is given by if upon eta into vt equal to i naught into e raised to power 2b upon eta into vt 
divided by this value here. From this equation, now we can put this here. Cd will be equal to tau into i f upon theta into t. This is the expression of this is the expression of diffusion capacitance. Remember one thing: diffusion capacitance will be in forward biased. Diffusion capacitance will be in forward bias and transition capacitance uh, CT will be in reverse bias. Diode. Both the capacitances will be in the same diode, but if a diode is forward biased, this capacitance will dominate. If diode is reverse biased, this capacitance will dominate. Now we will plot both the capacitances on the graph. This is forward bias, this is reverse bias diode, uh, forward bias voltage, reverse bias voltage, and this is capacitance C. The capacitance curve is like this. Here, diffusion capacitance CD is dominating, here, transition capacitance CT is dominating. Now we will study about uh, dynamic resistance of diode and dynamic conductance of diode. Dynamic resistance of diode. First we will say this. In the last lecture we plotted Vi characteristics of diode. Plotted between forward voltage VD and forward current IF. Consider this curve. This is the VI characteristics of a resistance. If we apply a voltage across a resistance and vary this voltage, the current through the resistance will vary and the graph will be linear graph, means it is following Ohm's law. If you want to calculate the value of resistance from this graph, we will just select the two points in this graph. We will project both the points on y-axis and both the points on x-axis. This is change in voltage. This is change in current. By obtaining change in voltage and change in current, we will find the ratio of dV upon dI and this will give us the value of resistance for which this graph is plotted. Similarly, for PN junction diode also, we can calculate its resistance from its VI characteristics. Consider any two point. This is change in voltage and this is change in current. Resistance of diode will be defined as dVD upon dIF. dVD upon dIF, we don't know the equation for dVD, VD, but we know the equation for IF. So I will rewrite this as 1 upon dIF upon dVD. Now, IF can be uh, substituted here for D upon DVD equal to I naught into E raised to power VD upon theta VD. Now, differentiating with respect to VD, we get 1 upon I naught will be constant E raised to power VD upon theta into VT into 1 upon so we will get this resistance R equal to eta Vt upon I naught into E raised to power Vt upon eta Vt will be equal to eta Vt upon If. This is the dynamic resistance of diode eta Vt upon Vt. Now dynamic conductance of the unit will be ohms.
dynamic conductance will be written as G and it is given by 1 by R equal to IF upon will be IF upon beta into T and unit for dynamic conductance is mu. Now we will solve some problems on real junction diode. Calculate the dynamic resistance and conductance conductance of diode if I not equal to 20 nano amperes BD equal to 0 0.71 volt eta equal to 2 that is silicon diode and VT equal to 25 millivolt for this diode we have to calculate dynamic resistance and dynamic conductance first we will calculate dynamic resistance of diode we know that dynamic resistance of diode equal to eta vt upon if this equation we will use to calculate dynamic resistance where if is the forward current of diode which is given by i naught into e raised to power vd it is forward voltage across diode divided by eta into vt now substituting all the values 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 minus 9 sorry nano amperes into e raised to power 0 0.71 volt divided by 2 divided by 25 10 raised to power minus 3 25 millivolt this will come out to be 29.3 Milliamperes. This term will be around. This whole term will be around 1.47 into 10 to the power 6. Now the dynamic conductance, dynamic resistance will be 2 into 25 millivolt divided by IF that is 29.3 milliamperes. Solving this, we get dynamic resistance of diode equal to 1.7 ohms now dynamic conductance will be g equal to 1 by r and it will be 0 0.586 cements This is conductance of diode. Now, next question calculate the depletion capacitance of silicon diode with epsilon r equal to 12 and depletion layer width w equal to 10 micrometers we know that depletion capacitance means transition capacitance is asked to to calculate transition capacitance it is given by epsilon a by w we have to calculate the depletion capacitance area is not given so we can calculate capacitance in uh, farad per meter square so capacitance per unit area can be calculated so ct upon a will be equal to epsilon by w Epsilon will be equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r divided by w 
to be equal to 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12 or minus farad per meter into 12 divided by W depletion that is it will be 10 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meters. This will come out to be 1.06 into 10 raised to power minus 5 farad per meter squared. This will be capacitance per unit area. A similar question was asked in gate examination and electronics engineering paper. 